Hello friends, in my last session on runway, I told you about the basic runway length and how do we estimate basic runway length for different cases. Normal landing case, normal takeoff case and engine failure case. Now there we defined basic runway length under certain assumed conditions and those conditions are that runway is located at mean sea level, the temperature at runway is standard and standard temperature is taken at 15 degree centigrade, runway is leveled in the long run direction, no wind is blowing at airport, the aircraft is loaded to full capacity, no wind is blowing on the way to the destination and atmospheric temperature during travel is standard. I told you in my last session that last two conditions that no wind is blowing on the way to destination and atmospheric temperature during travel is standard, they do not have much effect on runway length, but they do have some effect on the fuel consumption and therefore the weight of the aircraft during landing. Similarly, next two conditions that no wind is blowing on runway and aircraft is loaded to full capacity, they are on conservative side that these conditions will require maximum length of runway. When there is no wind, the lift provided will be minimal. When the aircraft is loaded to full capacity, it will require maximum length of runway to take off. But the first three conditions that it is located at mean sea level and temperature is standard, there is no gradient, they are never met in actual condition. And therefore, the basic runway length, which I told you in my last session how to determine, the basic runway length is corrected for these three parameters, elevation, temperature and gradient. So, the first correction is correction for elevation. above mean sea level. What is the effect of elevation? As the elevation rises above mean sea level, the air density reduces. And when air density reduces, it basically reduces the lift on the aircraft wings. And aircraft will require more length to gain the lift. And therefore, the effect of elevation above mean sea level is to increase the length of the runway. And what ECAO says that increase basic runway length at the rate of 7% for every 300 meter rise in elevation, rise in elevation above mean sea level. That is the correction we apply. And therefore, the correction for elevation is 1 plus E upon 300 into 0 0.07. That is the correction. 7% for every 300 meter E is the elevation of the site airport above mean sea level. The second is correction for temperature. Basic runway length is defined for a standard temperature 15 degree centigrade. Now, this temperature 15 degree centigrade is taken at mean sea level. Now, this temperature also changes with the elevation of the airport and the gradient is considered to be 0065 that is the, the temperature the standard temperature at airport the standard temperature at airport site is 15 minus 0 0.0065 into E. E again elevation. Elevation that is the standard temperature. Now to apply the correction for temperature, effect of temperature is also same as effect of elevation. As temperature rises, air density will reduce and that will reduce the lift on the aircraft. And here we defined what is called airport reference temperature. Airport reference temperature or ART is taken as TA plus one third of TM minus TA. Average 
daily temperature average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year ta average daily temperature for the hottest month in a year tm maximum daily temperature for the hottest month in a year so we consider the hottest month let us say june for the northern part of the country in the month of june what is the average daily temperature for the entire month and what is the maximum daily temperature that is that defines the airport reference temperature now airport reference temperature minus standard temperature is the change in temperature the what ikao says that the runway length should be increased after correcting for elevation the corrected length should be further increased at the rate of 1% for every 1 degree rise in airport temperature and this correction is like this that ft is 0.01 that is 1% into art minus 15 minus 0.0065 into e plus 1 Because they are multiplying, it is a multiplicative factor. So one plus one percent of change in temperature. The reference temperature at the airport, standard temperature at the site. Difference is the rise in temperature, and you increase the length by one percent. That is the correction due to temperature. The third is correction for gradient. third is correction for gradient runway profile is never leveled it has some up and down it has some gradient if there is a gradient on the runway then the aircraft will require longer length to gain the speed take off speed now here one term is defined that is called the effective gradient effective gradient and effective gradient g is rl of maximum rl of highest point on the runway minus rl of the lowest point divided by length of the runway length of the runway now here this length of runway is after correcting for temperature and elevation so you know basic runway length correct it for elevation correct it for temperature and then you correct it for gradient now what correction is required here 10% after correcting run basic runway length for elevation and temperature increase it further at the rate of 10% for every 1% effective gradient effective gradient that is the correction for gradient now here important is to determine the effective gradient and to illustrate this procedure how do you find effective gradient let me just take one example length of runway after correcting for temperature and elevation is 2150 meter and the runway profile is given that the change and gradient or slope for 0 to 500 meter 500 meter to 1000 meter from 1000 meter to 1500 and 1500 to 2200 meter it is plus 1 percent minus 0.8 percent this is minus 0.4 percent and plus 0.5 percent what is the effective gradient here now for finding the effective gradient you just redraw this table that this is the distance from zero position 0 500 then 1000 1500 and 
2150 because length of the runway after correcting is 2150. So, let us say the RL of first point is 100, 0 to 500 1% gradient, so there will be rise of 5 meter. So, RL of this point will be 105 meter from 5 to 1000, it is falling gradient of 0.8, so there will be fall of 4 meter. So, this will be simply 105 minus 500 into 0 0.08 that is 1101 meter. Next is a fall of at the rate of 0.4 percent. So, another 2 meter fall in a, in a distance of 500 meter. So, it will be 99 meter. Then you have a rise of 0.5 percent 15 from 1500 meter to 2150. 650 meter. So, it will be 99 plus 650 into 0.5 by 100 and that is equal to 102.25 meter. Now, the highest point here is 105 meter, lowest point 99 meter and therefore, the change in the RL is 6 meter. The effective gradient will be G will be 6 upon 2150 that is 0 0.279 percent. Increase this length 2150 at the rate of 10 percent for every 1 percent change in effective gradient and therefore, the corrected length Corrected length will be two one five zero into one plus point one into point two seven nine two two one zero. Two two one zero is corrected length. Now, if you want, you can make another iteration here because now effective gradient will change. The effective gradient is RL of maximum point minus RL of lowest point divided by length of the runway. Now, length of runway has changed from 2150 to 2210. So, if you want to make another iteration, take this 2210, 2210 and then in that case, this will be 102. 0.55. This is not changing 99 minus 105 that remains 6 meter only thing is that this will change now 2210 and you get the same result 0.27 something and the final value will be 2210 only. So, that is how you determine the effective gradient and then apply the correction for gradient. Now, let me just take one more example just to illustrate all the three corrections in one question. And the question is like this. Find out the required length of runway for the airport of reference code 4D located at 450 meter above mean sea level. The effective gradient on the runway is 0 0.5 percent. The monthly mean of maximum and average daily temperature for the hottest month of the year are 27 degree centigrade and 18 degree centigrade respectively. Now, I told in my last session that ICAO has classified airports based on aerodrome reference code and this code contains two letters, two. One is 1 to 4 and another is A to E. Now, if you look at the table which is given in standard books, the basic runway length for a 4D type of aircraft is 1800 meter. If it is not given, you can take 1800 meter, but generally it is given the question itself that that is the basic runway length. 
Now this airport is located at 450 meter above mean sea level and therefore temperature due to elevation is 1 plus 1 plus e to the power e divided by 300 into 450 into 0 0.07. 7% for every 300 meter rise in elevation above mean sea level. This is corrected length will be eighteen hundred multiplied by this factor. This factor is one point one zero five and this is one nine eight nine meter. Now this is Tm maximum daily temperature average of maximum daily temperature for the hottest month. This is Ta average daily temperature for the hottest month and airport reference temperature T or ART will be Ta plus one third of Tm minus Ta. This is 18 plus one third of 9 that is 21 degree centigrade. That is the airport reference temperature. Now what is the standard temperature at a height of 450 meter? The standard temperature at a height of 450 meter is 15 minus 0 0.0065 into 450 and that is 12.08 degree centigrade. So rise in temperature above standard temperature is 21 minus 12.08. So this is 8.92 degree centigrade and therefore the correction for temperature will be 0 0.01 into 21 minus 8 sorry 12.08 into plus 1. 1% 1 for every 1 degree rise in temperature above standard temperature. This is 1.0892 and corrected length corrected length will be 1989 into 1.0892 that is 2166 meter that is second correction third correction is now for gradient gradient here is given 0.5 percent and for gradient the correction is 10 percent for every 1 percent gradient and therefore correction for gradient fg will be 1 plus 0.5 into 0.1 that is the correction correction factor and corrected length will be 2166 multiplied by 1.05 that is 2274 meter now this is the final length that should be provided on runway on the airport 2274 which is located at 450 meter above mean sea level so friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your comment or question in the comment box.